Greetings and welcome everyone to Slender The Arrival. Now this is the sequel of sorts to Slender 8 Pages, which was a free to download game which you could play like ages ago. It's this huge phenomenon, I'm sure you guys have all heard of it. And um, now this is basically the paid for version, which is a sequel to it and it has a story, it has a lot more levels to it, it has I believe 6, no 5, I can't, I can't count. Um, yeah, I haven't played this game too much. I launched it just to see if it would record, and then that was it. And then I turned it straight straight back off. And so this is going to be pretty much into what is that sound? What is that? I didn't realize I had dial up again. What the hell? This is creepy. Anyway, um, yeah, this is going to be entirely blind, pretty much. So let's get it started. How far will it carry you? I don't know what that previous one said. I couldn't read it in time. Whoa. Okay, so this game is actually surprisingly pretty. Surprisingly pretty. Now, you're probably wondering... Well, actually, you probably aren't, but whatever. I'm going to tell you anyway. It's, uh, the engine that this game is running on is actually a Unity engine. And now, normally, Unity games have this specific look to them. Like, you can tell at a glance. Like, oh, that's a Unity game. Like, oh, yeah. But this game, like, I had no idea this was a Unity engine game. It's really quite surprising that it, how good they've made it look on the Unity engine because of how it just, it looks amazing. I don't know. By the way, this is running on high, not ultra, so this game can still look a lot better than it currently does, which is amazing because it's already so pretty. So this game is, the story of this game it actually has one, that's the main difference between this game and the original 8 pages of Slender. Which I never played by the way, so I feel I should get that out of the way. What the hell was that? Um, sorry that was weird, I just heard someone's footsteps. Yeah, I never played the original 8 pages of Slender, so you'll have to forgive me, so I can't really draw that many comparisons between this and the previous one, but from what I've seen of footage of the gameplay of the eight pages of slender, basically it was just you running around this forest being scared, yelling at the top of your lungs, and um, that looked like fun. <laughs> so yeah, so that and you also would collect eight pages, and that would give you the story basically. Now this game is written by the people who wrote Marble Hornets, which is a series on YouTube, which kicks out of the whole Slenderman phenomenon and whole oh it's so spooky and it is kind of so yeah. Is that a person over there? Oh no, it's a for sale sign. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, like, he looks awfully thin for a person. Uh, Alright, let's go have a look in here, see who's around here. Yeah, so, the story is written by the Marble Hornets creators, so it is a lot more in-depth. It does have a campaign. I believe it also has an ending. I'm not sure how it ends. This is the first impressions, of course. I don't think I'll ever reach the ending, of course. Yeah, I'm just uh, too much of a wimp. The door appears to be locked. Great. Alright, let's go walk around somewhere else. Now this game costs $10 and you can purchase it right now on the website for Slender the Arrival. There, should, there will be a link in the description, so if you want to purchase the game, you can do so. Wow, the graphics are actually surprisingly good. The, the model detail on the chairs and such is very nice. Oh, look at that. We could have ourselves a little cup of tea. Cup of tea, governor. Ah, this house is made by two ladies. Well, not made by, but is lived in by two ladies. Okay. Let's close that. Oh, hey, there's a shadow of us. Cool. That's neat, eh? Let's close that. Close the door. There we go. Some more pictures. Just give it a nice little live feeling. The phone line appears to be dead. Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, sweet. We got a little torch. Uh, a flashlight, sorry. That's the, the inner Australian in me. I want to make sure that you Americans know what I'm talking about. Flashlight. Thank you. I can't thank you enough for coming out all this way to help me out. It's been a pretty rough road trying to sell this old place. I wish I had turned to you sooner. You have no idea how happy I'll be once this is all behind me. Love you always, Kate. Ah, so I suppose one of these females are Kate. Okay, good to know. Or maybe it's one of Kate's relatives, something like that. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> this game is goofy. Oh, why do they have cigars? Kate doesn't seem like the kind of person that would have cigars, judging by her looks. The phone line appears to be dead. Great. Alright, what's this? Flashlight, lighter, batteries, kerosene, extra tapes, lock the house. The house was unlocked when I came in here, so you didn't do that good of a job. Alright, so I'm going to be playing just through the first level, hopefully. Oh, what is this? Uh, there's a little email address at the top there. I can't use my mouse in this. What the hell? I want it. I always use my mouse as a thing to like carry along and keep me tracked when I read, so it's weird that I can't use that. That's it. Oh god, this is gonna be weird. Thanks for calling last night. It probably sounds dumb, but it was good to hear your voice again. Good to hear that Lauren's been doing really well too. But yeah, about what we all about what all we said. I'm not sure what to think of it yet. What are the odds of two people having the exact same hallucination? Could it really be just a coincidence? I have to go to my doctor today for some routine stuff, so I'm going to try and casually bring this up and see what he says about it. I'll let you know how it goes. CR. Ah, sweet. Oh yeah, rockin' out. Sweet. So I wonder if the hallucination she's talking about is, um, slender. You can't crouch. Whoa, what is that? Whoa! That's neato, you can change how the thing works. Yeah, but um, as I was saying previously before I guess started reading, reading that letter, the... Yeah, I'm turning that off. Yeah, I'm going to be playing through the first level and then I will be stopping. Uh, can I point my light at it and open it? No, yeah, so I'm going to be going through the first level, then I'll give it a pause. Oh, fuck! There he is out there. Wow. Wow! Oh, fuck! Ah, oh, fuck me. Fuck. <laughs> um. Um. Fuck. Ah, oh, shit, I don't want to move now. Okay. <laughs> I didn't expect to fucking. Ah, oh, why can't this bitch have curtains? Seriously. This is why you get curtains, lady, so you don't see Slenderman. Oh, fuck me. Oh, it is Slenderman there, in the forest. You know, I'm actually just gonna play it until I die once, you know what, I just... Fuck. Shit. Oh, I didn't expect for... I thought... <clears throat> it says this is the prologue, so I assumed that you wouldn't be able to see him in the first level. Since... Ugh, fucking Christ. I'm... Oh, hey, look, it's Blue Isle Studios. And Parsec Productions, and those are the developers and publishers of this game. Alright. Let's go down here. Fucking Christ, I don't want to look out that window. I don't want to look at it. Can I open this? Fuck. Ah, I'm just so hesitant to do anything. Oh, God. Alright, so we got a key. Oh, you piece of fucking shit. Did you see that? He was out there. He was fucking out there. Okay, so... I've taken a break from the game. I had to restart it. I had to find everything again. So now he's out there. Fantastic. So we've got a key. And, um... Oh, hey, a letter. Hey, Kate. It's been a while since we last spoke, hasn't it? I hope you haven't forgotten about me. I know writing a letter is a little old-fashioned, but... Sometimes I like to just sit down and write something out, you know? So... I can't remember what I was doing at the time, but all this stuff we used to do when we were kids just came rushing back to me all of a sudden the other day. I, I added way too many commas and breaks into that sentence. There was like no commas at all, but I was just like rushing back to me all of a sudden. Apparently I'm Christopher Walken or William Shatner. Remember when I'd sneak over at night so we could both go out on adventures? Ghost hunting, we called it. We'd share the flashlight through the tr we'd shine the flashlight through the trees and jump at every little ins insignificant noise. Our, imagin our imaginations were always working in overdrive. I wish I could rewind. I wish I could rewind back to then. Seems like everything after that time just hasn't been as good for both of us. And then some scribblings. Sorry, ignore all of that. I started rambling too much. Anyway, please let me hear from you soon. I know things have been less than normal for you lately, so I just wanted to check in. See ya. Uh, okay, can barely read this thing that he wrote. Okay, so, let's go up, 
stairs and let's not look at any windows. Let's uh, just hold it like, ah, oh, there's a window there. No, we're on the second floor, he can't be that tall, can he? Just, he's not gonna have a ladder, right? Actually, no, I just better make sure that I don't accidentally look at it. Okay, unlocked. Ooh. Okay, so Slenderman safe at the light tower thing. It's neat, eh? What's this? To the woods. Cool. Oh, there's a little girl out there screaming. Fantastic. Now, if I remember right, you could see at the very start of the game, there was like this little tower at the very far end. I think that's our end goal, where we're supposed to be going. Yeah, so you see that thing far off on the distance? That, I believe, is our end game goal. So that's really cool that they allow us to see our end game goal right from the very beginning. So let's head outside. So the way Slender works is that you have to avoid Slender Man, and the way that he gets to you is by teleporting around the map and appearing in front of you or around you so you want to make sure that you don't get near him and if he stares at you for a long enough time you will die and you'll be forced to restart the game so you want to make sure you avoid sl oh did you see that he's out there fucking bitch shit dick can't <laughs> oh I have to go out there oh, fucking he was this way no, I'm running for it. Oh, you piece of fucking crap! He's right there, wow. So how am I supposed to make it around? Please don't be here, please don't spawn. Oh, thank god. Okay. Ha oh, ha, fucking slender man. Nope, nope, run for it. Run for it. Please don't spawn in, please don't spawn in. Yes. Oh, I did it. Now what? Now what do I do? Oh, it's the end of it! Fucking great. Okay, so on that note, thank you for sticking around, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. This has been... Slender Man, the arrival first impressions, and uh, my first impression of it is, fuck this game. Fuck it. Hardcore. How the hell did I get all the way over here? I can't even see the house. Huh, that's odd. Let's see, what's here? Ah, some random sh stuff, whatever. What's in here? Can I open this door? I cannot. Okay, so if I remember correctly, this is basically just going to be the basic eight pages type of thing. You run through the forest, you collect the eight pages, and then you will advance to the next level. So that's interesting. So now if we just exit back to the main menu, that's okay. So um, let's go back to the prologue. So yeah, it was called the eight pages, so that's basically just the basic eight pages thing. Let's see. Okay, so... Oh wait, yeah, it's daytime. I just realized that. It was a day-night cycle. That's really cute. This game just has such high production values, and it's really nice that they, it is so well made because um, that helps you believe in the world more, which is obviously very good since otherwise you wouldn't be scared and such. So yeah, this has been Slender Man The Arrival. Now I'm going to go in a corner and cry myself to sleep. GG.